What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, naming of Chris Chelios as uh, one of Ron Wilson's assistants to the uh, U.S. World Junior Team's coaching staff. I love it. You know, I, I talked about it about a week ago uh, with Chelios possibly joining the Detroit Red Wings coaching staff. Similar thing uh, to coach the, def the defenseman. You know, you got to understand, um, you know, it, his knowledge of the game is through the roof. He knows hockey. He's been around the game for a long time. I mean, what's Charlie, 53 now? Um, you know, and I think, again, he, he's just a, an amazing guy to have on board. And, you know, he, just to have him helping out the young defenseman Team USA is, is amazing. And, you know, you think about what he can offer these young defensemen. I mean, you got to understand, and I, I've referenced this a few times on the show, the better the player, the worse the coach or executive is. And uh, I've rattled off a few examples. I mean, obviously, Michael Jordan's record as uh, GM of the Washington Wizards was awful. Even in Charlotte, it's been hit or miss, mostly miss. Uh, Mer uh, not Mer Mer Lemieux has been in ownership. It's been a different situation. Gretzky coaching the Coyotes. Even when Bill Russell, the great NBA player, one of the greatest of all time, Boston Celtics, 11 championships in 13 years, uh, coached the Sacramento Kings. His advice on rebounding? Just go get the ball, because it comes natural. Uh, but Chelly had to scrap and claw his way to get to the NHL. I mean, this is a guy that, you know, was playing pickup hockey in San Diego, took a tryout, and, you know, so I think with the younger defenseman, he, he can, you know, help him out with that. You know, he was there before. Um, and, and the other thing is, a lot of these kids grew up, you know, in hockey rich environments where it was hockey, hockey, hockey 24 7 for them. We weren't supposed to tell you. I mean, he was surfing in San Diego, he was in Chicago for a while, lived in Australia for a couple months at one point. You know, he had like a, he grew up like a normal kid, not sheltered in rinks 24 7 like today's generation. And I'm not even knocking the players of today's generation that they're in and out of hockey rinks, 20, you know, like never before. There is no participation in other sports, something like that. Uh, but. You know, and I think Shelly can uh, can give him some words of wisdom and help. Uh, you know, the thing with with great players is it, with coaching, it's easy to coach when you have great players. It's easy for Coach Quenville in Chicago to look like the greatest coach of all time because he has a phenomenal team. Same thing in uh, in with my New England Patriots with Bill Belichick. It's easy to be the best coach of all time when you have Tom Brady. Uh, so you know, depending upon the defenseman available for Team USA. You know, I think that there should be a pretty decent blue line there. Uh, friend of the show, Brandon Carlo, should be on the blue line. I think he'll do a good job. You know, again, I think a lot of this comes down to, you know, player availability. You know, it's going to be the Austin Matthews show, so the forward's going to be you know, getting a lot of the ink. Uh, but, you know, you look at Matt, Austin Matthews, possibly Don Locken, depending upon whether or not he's up with Detroit. I think he will be available. I think he'll be in the AHL. Eichel should be in the show. Uh, same thing with Hannafin. I mean, Chelios coach in Hannafin would be pretty freaking awesome. You know, the the past and the future of you of uh, you know defense for the U.S. national team. But again, I love the move. Uh, likewise, I like him joining the Detroit Red Wings coaching staff. I think I think as much as he was a great player, he uh, you know he climbed the the ladder both as a player and then as a um, as a executive slash coach. So yeah, I like. Him. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ and Chris Chelios joining the USA Hockey coaching staff. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the final and beyond. Later, guys.